Hey guys, what's up? I'm Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next base destruction video. And this is probably a base that you guys see quite a bit if you have some Town Hall 10s in your clan, a pretty common base people use. And it's not always the easiest to three star, but with the new Valks, I think it is. Also new Hogs and everything at Town Hall 10. Those two new troops are probably gonna be pretty effective against it. Um, there was a few attacks on this base that I'm not gonna show. I think there was quite a few, maybe two or three hits before mine. And they were good plans. I mean, they got the two-star, or some of them did. Uh, so they were just getting the two-star using Valks uh, and some Hogs, kind of like how I do. Um, so I'm not saying my plan's any better than them, but I am. My attack is going to be the first one that I show. Uh, and it's just because the people after me kind of used my same uh, format of the attack, and they built up that. So uh, I'm not going to show a few attacks on it. I'm going to go ahead and start with my attack and then look at two more by Town Hall 10s. Um, so as a Town Hall 9, um, obviously not that good of a chance of 3-star in this space, but I wanted to provide the blueprints and at least get a high percentage 2-star. Um, my plan is basically this. I drop down my queen right here with one healer. So pretty interesting queen walk. One healer, queen walk, just drop the healer on her. Um, let her work her way up this way. And all there is is that archer tower and that cannon. And I dropped like a hog and a wizard on that cannon, so it goes down pretty quickly anyway. So the queen's basically just clearing out trash buildings. The healer is just a healer up after the uh, after the archer tower gets a few shots. I just want to heal her up a little bit. Uh, and the cannon probably gets a few shots on her too. That's the only reason I have the one healer. Um, then what I do is I drop down two golems like this. Um, drop a few wizards, create the funnel, typical stuff. Wall breaker in here, let my queen enter. Then I'm sending in a huge uh, kill squad. I also have wall breakers to get in here too. Um, they're not gonna go to this compartment because it's cleared out. So when I drop them up here, they just go straight in like that. Um, and I drop in, I think I have seven Valks, um, my king, obviously the queen's gonna come through, and the two golems. The problem what that happens is once everything enters into that compartment with the king, I have the jump and I have two rages, which I'm gonna use on the Valks, but the golem and the king kind of go off this way and the Valks, um, they go the way I want. I wanted everything to go, but they're going out ahead in front of the golems and the Valks, or in front of the golems and my king, I mean, and they're getting roasted because there's only seven of them. They're only level four and they're gonna go down pretty quickly without any protection. So the problem was the golems and the king kind of went off to that uh, to this direction like I showed um, and the Valks went another way. Eventually things came in but it was too late the Valks were done. Um, I sent the hogs through like this. Only had like 12 of them. Test one for a giant bomb because I thought there might be one there. There's not a whole lot of other spots. There was a giant bomb there so then I sent the rest of them in. I uh, dropped a heal right here. The hogs made a little bit of progress. I uh, got some good percentage. The queen ended up taking out the town hall so it did get the two star and uh, the plan was solid but a few things that could have been changed. We'll take a look at that in the next attack, but for now, let's take a look at my attack. Be right back with that. All right, here we go with the attack. Um, taking a look at it, I did have a few balloons, which I, I didn't mention. Those are just to get some back-end defenses, uh, help with a little bit of percentage. So that's all those balloons are. Anyway, though, uh, you'll see the queen start in just a moment. Uh, right there she goes. Dropped her right on that archer tower so she could get it down as quickly as possible. The one healer, you know, takes or gets back to what she to her full health, but she didn't take that much damage, to be honest. She was uh, pretty high when the archer tower went down. So uh, she'll step up, take out a few of these little collectors, then she'll head her way up north. As soon as that cannon locks onto her, there goes the hog, and uh, probably didn't even need this wizard right here, but I went ahead and dropped it anyway. Uh, gets that thing down a little bit quicker, the cannon. And luckily that hog didn't lure out the CC. If it did, the, the lava hound would have got on my queen, which isn't the best. Anyway though, here come the two golems and the wizard to create the funnel. First set of wall breakers lets everything on in. I'm gonna drop the Valks, uh, the king in just a moment. A few more wizards to back everything up. Uh, so right here comes the next set of wall breakers. I'm gonna drop a rage uh, to help the wall breakers. Actually, the rage comes a little bit later. But anyway, there's the rage. And you can see right here the Valks are running up to the king. They're going to enter into the kind of the core of the base. The jump was late, so some of the Valks didn't even take it. Only about three or four actually went in. So those Teslas don't go down. And then the king and the golems went off into that compartment uh, to the side there. And the single and tar targeting Inferno is getting on them. They're going down pretty quickly. Here come the hogs. 
They're going to get a little bit of value, but they are going to go down pretty quickly to the Town Hall 10-point uh, defense. I still have a few balloons, which I'll deploy in a moment, but the Queen luckily gets in the Town Hall to at least get the 2-star as those last few hogs peter out. Uh, she'll shoot that thing down and then uh, get a few more buildings before she goes down. So you can see here quite a bit of the base is left up. Uh, go ahead and pop the Queen's ability to avoid that single targeted Inferno. She'll get that Tesla and I think the Mortar before she goes down. So dropped a few Wizards. I'll go ahead and fast forward because at this point I'm just trying to get some percentage in case this base doesn't get 3-starred or in case no other attack can top this. I want to make sure I have the most percentage even though the war wasn't that close. So last few Wizards get a few more things and 64% uh, two star, which is solid and something that for the tens to build off of, which they do. So let's go ahead and get to the next attack, how it was planned out. Okay, so the next attacker is Thor and he uh, makes a few changes. He is a Town Hall 10 with some lower level heroes, I think like 30, 35. So a little bit under level, but still has a good shot, the three star. Um, he starts off with an, more of a substantial queen walk same position and everything drops her down but i think he uses like four healers uh lets her walk all the way up here and around uh wall breakers her in right here uh uses a rage really gets uh value out of her uh, with the rage and the four healers she'll step up uh take out some defenses get the enemy queen and stuff as that's starting he goes ahead and uh, comes in right here with wall breakers breaks in there and I believe he drops uh, Earthquake spells, I think. If I remember this right, there. Wall Breakers, both layers, and then comes in with the uh, Earthquake spells, something like this, to let everything keep moving on through. Uh, something like that, but uh, I'll go ahead and talk about what went wrong for him. Everything went okay going through there. Um, sends the Hogs in like this. Obviously the Valks, the King, pretty similar stuff, gonna move their way through here. He has a few extra spells, which helps uh, to keep those Valks moving. And then the Hogs come through like that. The problem is, though, that the Valks, they kind of trail off this way. So the Hogs and the Valks meet up there, but the Hogs are going to get way ahead of the Valks. They're going to go down to this group of defenses. I don't think he has a heal for them. And then the Valks uh, just are slow. They have to, you know, take their time going through all of this. And they do get right here for these last, like, two buildings, uh, but they go down before they can get a swing off. So very, very close to a three-star. Um, I think a f the few problems that there were uh, was the deployment of the hogs. It was the same way the Valks were kind of going along with the queen. So everything was kind of going into this part of the base. And the problem was that the hogs, once they go through, they basically are going to go over here unprotected. They're going to go down. Then the Valks come over. They start going down. So the it let the defenses have two different uh, swarms of troops rather than uh, one like cohesive attack on them. So we'll see how the, th the person who got the three star made the difference, but we'll take a look at this attack first because it was very close. Good attack, just didn't quite get it. Be right back with the attack. Okay, here we go with the attack. Uh, you can see has the four healers for the queen, which will drop down right there um, and just let the queen start taking this stuff out. I'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit as all this stuff starts to go down. Uh, pretty much the exact same queen walk at, at the start, except that he has the extra healers on her. So going to get more value from her. I think the queen walk, though, isn't needed. And I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, in the next attack when we're talking about how that was planned out. Because he has to use a spell plus all the extra troop space for those healers. And he doesn't get that much more value. Uh, but again, that's something I'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, you can see right here. Uh, oops, those are the wall breakers to let the queen in. Then those are the wall breakers to let his own troops on in. Or th these are all his own troops, but let his king, his valks, all that stuff move forward. You can see they dropped the golems that I used because the golems weren't needed. They were just going to go off to the side. They weren't going to enter the core. And besides, the valks would get out ahead of them anyway. So I uh, didn't need the golems. Both attackers after me don't use them. There goes the quakes, letting everything on in. The heal spell, which will be effective as soon as that Inferno goes down. The healer's going on to the Valks, which is good. Uh, he used a P.E.K.K.A. as well. Not sure how much value he got for that, but it looked like it worked okay. You can see everything's moving forward right here. There goes the Hogs. Doesn't have that many of them. Only has like 12 Hogs, but they are going to go through, get a little bit of that Rage on them. 
Doesn't have any heals for them though at this point. Used up all his spells. And you can see, like I said, big group of Valks going off to take out that trash. And then the group of Hogs is just going to be shot down one at a time. The King is also taking damage up top. Still has the ability, but he is uh, taking a lot of damage from that Expo. Valks are starting to make their way forward. The Lava Hound isn't a big deal on them. But these last few Hogs are going to peter out to that Wizard Tower. As soon as they get a few more shots, they'll go down. The King has the ability still. He'll pop that in just a moment um, to get some more value from his King. Takes out a few more defenses, but he does go down too. The combination of the splash damage and those two-point defense take him down. And then these last few Valks will fast forward. They start beating through these walls. It takes a little while and uh, still has like six or seven left. But right here, as soon as they're about to get between those two buildings and take them out, it runs out of time. Very close attack. Let's take a look at some planning that was done to uh, maximize value of the troops and everything. And to get the three star, let's take a look at Chaos's plan. All right, so the three star is finally achieved by Chaos, who comes in with a similar plan to uh, both of me and Thor's plans. Uh, comes in with the Queen Walk, only uses, I think, two healers on her. So really reducing the troop space like I did on the Queen Walk. Drops her down, lets her just start making her way around, just like uh, both of us did. Uh, she gets around here and doesn't wall breaker her in, just lets her walk around, get a few more defenses. I think she does go down, but he gets great value for her. And the big thing is she's clearing out all that trash, creating a path for the t uh, to the town hall and to those inferno towers for the Valks and the King. Uh, same wall breakers. Doesn't use the quakes though, and I think that was a good decision because for Valks, they move so quickly, they're not gonna backtrack. They, it's really a one-way thing for them. Just the jump will last plenty long enough, especially at Town Hall uh, 10, where you have the 60 second jump spell. Uh, those Valks aren't gonna need nearly as much, or they're not gonna need all that time anyway. So the jump spell is fine. Wall Breaker's in here, obviously. Similar to both of us, uh, drops the jump down like this, so something in that area, uh, lets the Valks move through, uses a freeze on the Inferno Tower and some of those Teslas, which helps the Valks uh, stay up a little bit longer. I think he has a rage and maybe even a heal, uh, pretty much soaking them in spells as everyone else has. He has quite a few more hogs because he didn't invest as much in the healers. And the big difference is he sends the hogs through like this. He has level 40 heroes, which obviously helps. I know uh, you guys will probably think that as you see the attack. And it's true, those level 40 heroes do help. But I don't think that was the difference made here. I think the plan was also very solid. And you'll see how much he crushes the space. It wasn't even close. But anyway, comes in with the hogs, kind of like how I did. Uh, sprinkles in a... Oops. Drops like a heal in this area and sprinkles in a few more hogs at the bottom right here just to get onto some of this point defense. And the great thing about this is now that the Valks are going to continue to go off in this direction like they did in the last attack. Meanwhile, the hogs are going to take out the, that group of defenses that otherwise uh, would not have been targeted by the Valks. And everything converges on at the end here at the same time on this last little bit of defenses. Plus, there's not even that many defenses in that bottom right corner. So, gets the hard part out of the way. Whenever you're deploying hogs, you want to get the most concentrated area of defenses out of the way first when you have your heals, and then you can let them kind of take out the last few defenses later on once they're more dispersed. So, anyway, though, makes those few adjustments. Obviously, both people did not bring any golems, which I think was a great decision because, as you can see, the golems for me, uh, they went off to this area and didn't help out the Valks. Valks are so quick. Um, sometimes golems aren't necessary, especially if you can just uh, funnel your Valks directly into the Inferno Towers uh, using a Queen Walk like these guys did. So an important concept there. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the attack and we'll wrap this thing up. Here we go with Chaos's attack. You can see the troops he brought at the bottom there. Also, uh, because he didn't bring those quakes, was able to bring a few dark spells, uh, which included poison to help with some of the CC troops and the heroes and also that haste, haste spell, which is gonna move these Valks through even quicker. You'll see that uh, as soon as he deploys his Valks. Anyway though, uh, letting things move their way through. I guess you like the hog that I used because he used that as well. And uh, it really helped the queen not take as much damage. Maybe not needed because he has that level 40 queen, but uh, was a nice touch either way. Anyway though, the queen keeps moving forward, taking on these point defense one at a time, so not taking a whole lot of damage. 
uh, right here, I'll go ahead and slow things down. As the queen makes her way around, her job's pretty much done. He's just gonna pop her ability and let her take out some more things. The healers get onto the king and the Valks, which is probably for the best. They start moving forward. There's that haste. Doesn't need the rage. Let me pause this for a second. He doesn't need the rage because the Valks are doing so much damage in a group of 13 of them that the haste is all that is needed. The speed boost is enough. Doesn't necessarily need that damage boost. They're already gonna one-shot everything when they're in a group of 13 like that. So the haste, it's, uh, it works just as good as a rage in that situation. Anyway, though, the free spell for the uh, Teslas helps them uh, avoid a lot of damage right there. They make their way through, drops that heal down, uh, doesn't even use any rages on his Valks. That's something I forgot to say. But like I said, don't you don't need to rage 13 Valks necessarily. Just keep them healed uh, and freeze those Infernos to allow the healing effects to take place. But anyway, the Queen goes down right over there. She got a lot of value, even for the two healers. And the Hogs just completely destroyed this. Was able to bring like 20 Hogs or something. Come in, came in from the bottom, the top, used two heal spells. So much more of an investment in the Hogs and got much more of a return from them. You can see here, like I said, those last few defenses aren't a big threat. They're pretty uh, lightly dispersed. And then uh, the Hogs aren't going to take a whole lot of damage. All those Valks still left up. Everything, like I said, converging on this last part of the base. Um, try to count these troops though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Valks, I think, left up, plus all those hogs. If you go down to that giant bomb. But anyway, crush the space. Awesome attack by Chaos. Um, if you guys see the space in war, this is a great um, attack to use against it. It works very, very nicely. And uh, Chaos actually only has level 31 uh, king. The queen is usually more important, but the king's only 31, so not a max hero attack either but definitely utilize the Hogs and the Valks very nicely, which are becoming a staple at Town Hall 10. Anyway, though, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I haven't done a war recap in a while. I know you guys, or some of you guys want to see that, so you'll see a lot of attacks in my survey results video, which is coming out soon. It won't have the commentating uh, aspect to it, but you'll see the attacks at least quite a few because it's going to be a long video, and I also want to show you guys the results of the survey. Um, awesome attack, though. Uh, to all three attackers and uh, 17 Valks actually the CC had Valks in it as well instead of the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, that Thor used 17 Valks just destroyed this base along with the 15 Hogs uh, great attack to everyone especially Chaos getting the three star hope you guys enjoyed the video more stuff coming out soon as always and I'll see you guys in my next video bisect the Tron out